So listen, we just came back from uh, the whole family. We just came back from Congo, uh, Kinshasa. It was amazing. It was, uh, it's funny, it's, it's felt, we spent like two weeks, but it felt like three days. And you know, I'm a workaholic. Um, the idea of me, my, the idea for me of living, you know, my, 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 my office, my work, um, it, it, it's hard. It's hard for me. It's uh, the idea of not working and like not doing nothing, not being there promoting, not editing, and letting just the channel. Not without content because I put some content in advance, but this idea of being away from from work, uh, it's always something that is dreadful to me. It's uh, I'm. I'm I always feel like, oh my God, like, and before, before leaving, I become stressed. I'm like, oh, I have to put some feet, so I have to have some content. I have to put some automatic stuff. I have to edit some vlogs, like, and, um, and then, and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to spend two weeks without working. It's going to be like, a, it's going to be boring. I'm, I'm just going to be there. And, and when it was like, Two days from departure, I was like, wait, what? Already? We just arrived. And um, yeah, that's actually had a great time with my family. Uh, my daughter had a great time uh, with her grandparents. And I really enjoyed being with my parents as well, being at home, uh, visiting the plantations. Uh, showing my daughter her own lands and uh, all these things but um it's um yeah it's it was it was great um and it was great to take my family to take my my wife and her sister as well the only thing that uh was a nightmare in congo was the fucking driving <laughs> Yo, <laughs> people drive just like I don't know. People were driving just like if rules did not exist in this country. Uh, I posted something on Twitter and on my Instagram story. Um, so we were on the street going to the restaurant to meet my father. And uh, on the other side, there was a traffic jam. And so there's a, there's, there's a wall. Like they know that people don't respect nothing. So they put a wall, like a small wall between this way and that way. And of course, sometimes you have to, to put an opening so that people can you know, in case they need to cross or they need to go somewhere and listen. People start going out of the traffic traffic jam way and then they go in on our way, which is the opposite way. And they don't care. They just go. And if one goes, then you have a hundred that follow. And uh, in some places... The chaos is so crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload the vlog soon. In some places, the chaos is so crazy that you have cars. And cars is just like, there's no rule, there's no priority. It's just whoever is the most, you know, whoever is the most uh, crazy just wins. So there's two cars uh, in, in, in Europe, I mean in France, uh, I know it's uh, whoever's on the right has a priority. So if you guys arrive like this, this person is on your right, you have to let them go. Here is whoever goes. So you see people and you're like, oh my God. And, and strangely, people never bump, bump on each other, but it's super stressful when you are, you are here in the streets and you have policemen who are supposed to handle this and nobody cares about them. 
So you have the cars and then you have the little taxis who are the worst and they all come from Nigeria or South Africa and they all draw, they all have their their, their steering, steering wheel on the right instead of, of the left and they just so they, they're trying to go everywhere nobody's just like okay I'll stay on my lane no no if there's three lanes it turn, turns into seven lanes and people are just trying to go whatever and then you have the, mo the, the taxi bikes who are just trying to go around everything and then you have the people the people who are walking everywhere nobody's crossing in one point uh, everybody's just crossing everywhere so you are there driving and you have bikes all around and then you have people everywhere so to me it's like a bowl of spaghetti and uh, it was super stressful to be in the car and to watch these people. And me, I'm a person, I'm a super logical person. And when I see places where it's basically the far west, I just get stressed because my system doesn't like it. My system likes order. And sometimes it would take you, so we live far away, we live up in the hills. So to arrive from uh, that, from home to to go to the restaurant and to go to the city sometimes it would take us two hours and a half and then at night to go back because there was a curfew uh, so everybody has to be home at 9 p.m so at 7 you start going up it still it takes you another two hours and something to go up and listen it's kind of um yeah you kind of don't feel like going you know just because you feel of everything you're gonna have to, to go through to be able to arrive home and that's super stressful um, and even and at a point I got sick my 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 system is very uh, yeah I don't know I'm I'm, I'm Usually when I go there, I always have a one moment where I'm a, I'm a little sick in the middle of my, my thing because of whatever I eat or maybe just the water out there. Maybe because I drink something with ice and like the amo, amo, typhoid amoeba, whatever that's uh, in, the, in the water sometimes makes me sick. And if I'm not careful, there you go. And I always have this one, two days that I... I feel sick and this time I, I felt really sick like vomiting and etc uh, so I had two days where I was really off and uh, I remember when it started we were at the plantation when I was starting to feel bad and then we have to go back from the plantation to we had to go back from the plantation to the to home and it took us three hours and a half in the car with horrible traffic bumps everywhere in the road uh, it was like it was a nightmare and then the next day I really start feeling ill 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 um, so yeah on that I lost a few days uh, I had a few people who wanted to photographs wanted to offer me some photo sessions could not do it I wanted to meet a few artists to 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 do some uh, some collabs could not do it um, so yeah all in all uh, I could have stayed another week uh, and would not feel it but you know at the same time I missed my you know my possibility to do my work like if I if I need to go more than two weeks in Congo I have to take the big screen I have to take the computers I have to take the, the cameras that like I have to be able to to function to do my work I have to, to be able to to do my covers like there's so many things that I need to be able to do uh, that usually um, this is the, the kind of thing that but something that of that was interesting was that the internet was very nice. The internet was fast, 
the internet was uh, actually is getting cheaper and cheaper. Uh, I remember when for, for $10 you only had one gigabyte. Now for $10 you have eight gigabytes and for $20 you have 28 gigabytes. So soon as we arrived, I took some sims and I put a $10 on each. So one for me, one for my wife and one for my sister-in-law. And then um, uh, my dad's assistant took our free numbers and she added 28 gigabytes in every, every sim. So we had 36, 36 gigs um, <clears throat> of data, uh, each of us. So listen, I was sharing the connection from my phone to my iPad, plus my daughter's uh, iPad. And every night we were watching YouTube videos, even watching live from YouTube. So I just changed the setting so that it doesn't show me full quality. And by the end of the two weeks, I think we still had like 15 gigs. So that was actually nice. Like it's starting to become a thing and uh somebody told me that there's new companies that are arriving now that will bring like unlimited data to some people unlimited data plus cable and stuff this is this is coming now in kinshasa and i think this will have a, an impact on content creation on the possibility of people to not just be people who are consuming content from outside but being also able to to do their own content and upload it fast and that was great like i didn't try to do a live show so i had a pre-recorded show but uh, i was like hmm that's super that's super interesting 